Today I've got a couple finished objects, some channel updates, and also I think I found a new yarn at Joanne. Let's start with the finished objects that I've got here. So first off, if you saw my video on softening old acrylic yarn, um, I'll put a link to that um, up here. And this is one more scarf of my keyhole scarf design that I'm working on. So I just wanted to get a couple prototypes done before I actually put that pattern out there. But I am super duper excited about this. So yeah, I've got this done. So I will hopefully start filming the how to make the keyhole scarf soon. Next, I did this little teacup. And um, I know it seems a little bit frivolous and maybe like there isn't a purpose for it. Um, but I've been trying to work through some of my old yarn stash and um, I have gotten several like older super savers that I've thrifted. I paid 75 cents for a skein. It was a full skein of, I believe it was called Country Rose. And I tried a couple different things for it. I tried um, a little drawstring handbag, just a few things, and I did not like um, how it was turning out. And I guess I just thought maybe this color needed something a little bit more old fashioned and <laughs> what more than like a lace doily teacup. So um, I think this would look cute on my desk. Um, just I can put whatever desk supplies in there. And I think I'm going to also get one for my friend so she can put um, like little tea packets in here um, and put that out so you can just grab your tea packets out of there. I've got three of these made so far and I'm pretty sure there's enough in this game to get at least one, possibly two more out of. Um, so I will just put those in my finished object stash and have those on hand for a few gifts. And then this is an almost finished project, but I'm making this cute little banner here or pennant. I'm not sure what exactly um, you would call that there, but it's like these little tiny granny triangles. And I had a very random skein of yarn. It didn't have a label on it. It was this kind of mint green color and it's it was very fine, like probably a two weight. Um, so I've made a couple of these before um, to put on my desk at work. I made like a 4th of July one with patriotic colors and I made a Halloween one that was black. And I will leave a link to this um, creator's pattern for this um, down below in the description box. But I really liked it and I just haven't decided in the pattern, she leaves the tails on and then she puts a, a couple more strands of yarn for a tassel and a bead there. So I have not decided if I'm going to put beads on or just cut the tails off. So, but that is very cute. And I paid 50 cents for this yarn. Uh, so I think this was a good way to use it up. It is a little bit scratchier than you would want for a wearable. But again, you could check out my video on how to soften that if you wanted. Um, but since this didn't have a label, I had no idea what the what the content was in this. So anyway, one cute little banner right there. So my next couple updates, um, I got a little behind in my filming schedule. I just kind of wasn't feeling the greatest. It was kind of hard to eat. Um, so I did not get any filming done for a week. So I got a little behind on that. Um, so I was kind of bummed, um, but that's okay. But then yesterday it occurred to me, um, we live in a 115 year old farmhouse and we don't have central air. So my husband was putting in some window air conditioners yesterday and it, yes, it occurred to me that it's going to get very hot. We just run the, those units when we're in those rooms and it would be way too loud to film. So I like filming in this room. It's quiet, it's my guest room, it's kind of away from the rest of the house, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about the air conditioning situation. So if I look super tired every time I'm filming, um, <laughs> my solution is that I have to get up at like 5 a.m. before it warms up and film. So we'll see. Um, maybe I'll just look tired until October, I don't know. <laughs> Um, the next update would be I keep seeing everyone um, hauling their Hobby Lobby clearance and 
I live about 45 minutes from a Hobby Lobby. Like that's what I would consider my Hobby Lobby. It's the closest. So I probably sounded like a stalker, but I called a couple times um, towards the end of last week just to kind of get an update and see because you know the price of gas is high and I am just not willing to drive that far on a whim to see if they have it or not. So I called up and the first time I called, I talked to a gal and she kind of acted like I was completely nuts and had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> so I called on Saturday and I did get a hold of a woman who seemed definitely more knowledgeable on it. And I just nicely explained, like, I wasn't a weirdo. I just lived far away. And so, you know, I wanted to just double check before I came up. And she was pretty nice. And she did say, though, because this was early Saturday morning, that she did not think that they were going to get started on it Saturday or even Monday. So I don't know when I'm going to get up there. I really hope I make it in time. I was able to hit it last year and that really helped me build my stash more affordably and have stuff on hand to do some projects. And I feel like, well, it seems like I have a lot of yarn. Um, I don't really have like tons and tons and I do want to be able to continue to um, create content and put that out there and have stuff on hand and not have to drive you know, an hour every week to get more yarn. So I don't, I don't want to do it that way. So hopefully I can get up there next Saturday and hopefully they do still have some yarn left. So if you hear noises, that is my dog. He is um, tiptoeing around here. So he is my production assistant today. Um, other than that, and not too much else um, has happened in my yarn world. Like I said, I was feeling a little ill this past week, so I did not get as much done. Um, I don't really have much for whips right at the moment, but hopefully I should be able to get filmed two very large projects that I have done lately. I've got a mitered granny blanket and also a scalloped blanket. So I'm very, very excited to share those with you. And then the last thing, and what I will do is I will go ahead and just turn my camera around and um, share my screen with you and show you, but I'm super excited because I saw on the Joann's app that there's some new Red Heart coming out. And it is Super Saver, but it's Super Saver Brushed. And I vaguely remember seeing, I think it was on Instagram months ago, um, from Yarnspirations that they had posted this and I had asked about it and they're like it's on our website so I promptly went there and then if you've looked on the Yarnspirations website before some of that stuff is I mean the the price is definitely a lot higher than if you were to you know get it at Joann's or Walmart or wherever like that so I think it was like seven something and I did not order any. I thought, ooh, I'll wait till that comes out somewhere else. Um, but it looks like it's on the Joann's app, so I am super excited about that. Um, and uh, yeah, I will turn my screen around and then I will just say goodbye to you from there. But I do hope you have a good week and we will talk yarn again soon. Thanks, guys. You guys, I am super excited. I had seen a glimpse of this on possibly the Yarnspirations website a while ago. But on Joanne, I see now today they have a link for Red Heart Super Saver Brushed Soft Yarn. Now, it does not seem to be available to be shipped or, um, you know, in a store yet, it doesn't look like. Um, but it says Red Heart Super Saver Brushed has a soft glowing halo. The brushed acrylic yarn stitches up to create a soft and fuzzy fabric that makes cozy to the next level. Ideal for cuddly wrap, shawls, and accessories. Super Saver Brush creates a fabric with soft and feathery texture. The worsted weight is suited for projects of all kinds from garments to home decor pieces. It's 100% acrylic, four weight, it's five ounces, and you're getting 255 yards in that. Um, it does have a recommended crochet hook of 5.5. 5. 
So I am super excited about this. Let's go up here real quick and just look at those colors. And if I come up here, you know, you can really see that halo on there. I am super excited about this. To me, uh, it seems promising that it'll be a high-end looking yarn, um, you know, for a budget price. Here's the soft brick. Oh, it didn't change colors there. Let's try that again. Maybe I need to flip. There we go. Oh, see, I love that. That's probably going to be the first one that I purchase um, because I would love to make myself something out of that. I think this clay is going to be very pretty too. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I love that so much. Let's try like a cooler color here. Pastel teal. Yeah, that's like a beautiful icy color. And then let's try the dark and see what that looks like. Shale. Yeah, beautiful. So I am going to be 100% stocking my Joann's app um, to see when this is available to ship. Oh, I'm excited. I appreciate you tuning in and talking some yarn with me. If this is your cup of coffee, then please subscribe. I would love to talk more yarn with you. I've got yarn hauls, yarn tutorials, um, unboxings, all sorts of yarny things.